Michaela? Yes, hi Mark. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You too. Welcome. Thank you. These are our steps? These are our steps. All right. What do we got going on? So this is actually my childhood home. Um, I've lived here for 32 years and I bought it from my dad a couple years ago. And these are not the original stairs to the home. They're probably about 15 years old. Okay. So my dad had them fixed because they were cracking and they were chipping. And probably about five years ago, we started noticing all these cracks in the mortar. So I've been trying to seal it. He's been trying to seal it, trying everything we possibly can. We actually had a gentleman come out and try and fix the mortar. He actually okay. replaced a brick as well. Yeah, you can get closer. Yeah. And it's, it's still cracking. No idea what to do. No idea if the ceiling's helping or... So one of the first things I see right off the bat is a little bit of sloppiness. You can see the mortar spread from brick to brick, yep. which is kind of a no-no. Another thing that I notice is you can see that this is like a topical joint. Mm -hmm. So they didn't grind out the existing, they just applied. The other thing that I noticed is I can tell almost by the color that this is a type S, which is a lot stronger than a type N. Yep. The brick are not able to move and it causes a lot of cracking, which is what you're seeing now. Gotcha, okay. So what we're gonna do to solve all this is we're actually gonna cut out all the masonry joints. Oh wow. About three quarters of an inch down. Okay. Okay, that's gonna give us a nice new bed to apply the new mortar, which is gonna be type N. Gotcha. All right, so let's get going. Sounds good. All right. All right, Michaela, so the first thing we're gonna do is grind these joints out just like we talked about. Okay. All right, couple little things about our grinder here. Dustless. Okay, so we want to make sure that this part of the grinder is always down flat. Okay. That way, the vacuum is going to work for us, okay? okay? Secondly, we've already set the depth at three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to get you started. I'm just going to grind in. Okay. I'll stop. You can take over, go as far as you can, get on the step, and continue on, and we'll get that the first three joints right out. Okay. All Great. right? The reason we go this way first, horizontal, is it gives us a pocket for the vertical, meaning you can almost hear the blade stop cutting, and that's when you know you're done. So, great. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've ground out all those joints, we're ready to mix our mortar. Nice. We already, I've already put in the type end. That's what we discussed. That's what we need. I have all my pointers right here. These are kind of cool. What does something like yeah. this do? So this right here is a flat joiner, and okay. we're going to need this to press the mortar into the joints. Gotcha. So we have different sizes yep. Uh, yep. just in case, because we know those joints do vary a little bit. Right. But the key today is going to be this. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks a little funky, but all we're going to do is dump mortar into this bag and we're yep. just going to be it's just going to be like decorating a cake. Nice. But you'll be surprised and happy on how fast it goes and again it's very thorough because the more we press the deeper that mortar goes into right. the joint which is right. what we're looking for. And so. it seems a little simpler. It's very user simple. Friendly. Yep, user friendly, good point. Yep. But other than that, why don't we start and add the water? All right, sounds good. All right. All right, just tell me when. I don't want Okay. To I like that. Good. Thank you. And I'm gonna mix a little at a time. Mm -hmm. Now normally, I like, when I'm doing some repointing jobs, I like the mortar to be a little stiffer, and okay. not as wet. But because we're gonna try this method with the cake decorating bag, I want it to be wet so it okay. comes out easier. Gotcha. Notice how I dig it out of the corners so I don't get any buildup. Yep. How quickly will something like this set? This, once I mix it thoroughly, we'll probably have about 20 minutes. Got to move quick. All right, we're probably good with the water. Okay. Yep. Remember, you can't take the water out. Yes, that's so true. You don't want to put in too much. All right, Michaela, hold this bag open for me. Okay. Just be as neat as possible. And don't worry about if the mortar does sit on the bricks. Yep. That's why I'm gonna come behind you with a tool. Okay. So if it's if it's there, it's good for me because I can just press it down. Okay. Do a twist up there. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. You can feel the pressure now? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah. I'd like to point some things out, Michaela, but you're doing too well. 
<laughs> Think you lying. got it. <laughs> oh no. I think the coolest part of this entire thing will be in 10, 20 years of just being oh, like, yeah. I did that. Oh, yeah. That's my mortar. Yes. This, you're gonna like it. This is this is a really good one. If I'm you, old and I sell this house and they comment on the stairs, I'm gonna be like, I made those. Yeah. Leave them the video. <laughs> All right, Michaela, I'm gonna brush to you. Okay. And we're just gonna brush very, very lightly. You notice that we're breaking the skin of the mortar? Yep. No problem, because we're gonna come back and fix that. Okay. The mortar's coming off so cleanly. Yep. Doesn't well, look anything like this. The bad stuff. <laughs> well, take your time, be neat, and this is the result. So we're gonna take our tool. Okay. All right, this is the flat joiner that we've been using the whole time. Yep. But we're just gonna run it one more time. You can see the what we call the uh, cream yeah. in the mortar. Yep. So that's come back up and that's a slicked joint right there. Okay. So that's, a slick joint is weatherproof. So that's what we're doing. Okay, Michaela, what do you think? They look amazing. They came out so great, Mark. Great. You guys did a great job. So I have a question for you. Okay. Every fall, I will come out here and I will waterproof these and seal these before the winter so that they don't crack again. Is that gonna mess up what we've done here? Should I wait a couple weeks? Okay, I would never waterproof a platform on steps. Okay. Only because it does make a seal on the brick. The water does not penetrate the brick, mm -hmm. so it just beads up and it forms a sheet of ice during the winter. Okay. So, big okay. problem there. Yeah. But we've actually waterproofed this in a sense. Oh, okay. Once we slick those joints the way we did at the end, yep. that seals that mortar with oh, that steel awesome. tool. So okay. you should be good forever. Great, awesome. One less thing for me to do. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so All much, right, it was really great to meet you. My pleasure. Michaela was a good sport. Yeah, she was great. Mark, I gotta say, I still marvel at your ability to just look at the mortar and know what was used and what the problem is instantly. Well, I do know that there are different mixes, and I knew that uh, some mixes are heavy on the Portland, which is darker, so. So the color is what's leading you down the path of what's been used, and obviously all the problems result from the mortar. You can tell that right, right. away. Most of the time, yeah. So the mortar has got you know a basic recipe. We're looking at it right here, and I guess the recipe determines which type of mortar we have, right? Right, so we have basically four types of mortar that are used every single day. The three components that are used to make that mortar, sand, lime, Portland cement. So Portland is sort of what, the strength? Portland is gonna give me my strength. The lime is gonna give me a little flexibility and a little elasticity. The sand is gonna take both products and bind them together. Gotcha, so more yep. of this, more strength, more of that, more elasticity. Right. So they go by this uh, letter grading, type O, is that what I'm looking at here? Yeah, type O has about a 350 PSI and that is the weakest of the mortar that we use. Mm -hmm. um, I might use a type O with a very soft stone or a very soft brick like we saw in South Carolina. We did see that down yep. there, which was an unusual, I guess, to see it, but very, down there was okay. Yeah, very unusual. Uh, the temperatures aren't what we have up here, so uh, they do have a little bit more ability to okay. use that type O. So weakest, as we go up from O, where do we go? What's the next we one? We go up? to type N, which is the most common, and I'm gonna show you what we do for that. We're gonna take away a lime. I'll get rid of the O right here. We're gonna take away three sands. Okay. And these are the ingredients that, or the proportions I should say, that are gonna give us the type N. And again, the type N is the most common and usually used with brickwork. This is N as in Nancy. N as in Nancy. Gotcha, okay. So in this case, you took away some of the elasticity. Yes. And you took away some of the sand. Right. And we kept the, uh, the Portland at the same, so that gave us a little right. more strength. So that gave us about 750 PSI, which again is a jump from the 350. Gotcha, okay. So from O to N, the next formula? S. S. So what we're gonna do is add my sand back. So I have nine parts. And I'm also gonna add strength from my type S, Ooh. and I'm gonna bring a Portland back. Two Portlands. But we're not gonna increase the line, which is the flexibility. That's right. So more strength here, we're not hurt with more sand. All right, right. and where are you using S? So the strength of the type S, think of an elevator shaft. So rigid. So rigid, so it can be interior, exterior, but it's gonna be something that's gonna to wanna to stay together. Tall, no movement, Tall. elevator going up and down. Exactly. Okay, O. N, S, what's next? Our strongest is gonna be M, and we're gonna to continue to add. M as in Mary. M as in Mary, so I'm gonna add back some sand. Gotcha. 
I'm not going to add any lime, but I am going to add another Portland cement. So now triple the Portland of our O and our N. That's right. And so lots of strength here. Right. So this maxes out around 2,500 PSI. It's not what we lay brick with because it's too hard to use. It's rigid. Where do you use this? So this, again, could be under un underground. Uh, anything that's close to water, so think of a, a block foundation, uh -huh. we'd use the type M gotcha. and build up the block and you'll have a nice strong foundation. Awesome. Another yeah. formula, another recipe. Good info, Mark. Thank you. All right, Kevin. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.